Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I recently said that I am gonna do a favorites video because I feel like it's been forever since I just sat here and spoke to you about products that I'm loving. So I'm basically just gonna get right into it. And first things first, mm -mm. wait, before I get into anything, I'm not wearing gloss and that's rude. I feel like Barbie today. Okay, now I've got some gloss on. Let's get straight into it. And first up, I have to tell you about my what would the auntie say match? Oh my God, I cannot believe it. So basically I have what would the auntie say merch for my podcast and I'm so, so excited about it because it is out right now and you can get these pink hoodies which are basically the color of the brand, a black one which I wore recently to announce my podcast and then I also have a black t-shirt with a small logo, another black t-shirt but with a large logo and then I also have a white t-shirt and this is what it looks like and it's got the logo on it as well so something basically for everyone i feel like i've had so many messages in the last few weeks of you guys asking me are we able to buy this stuff because i've been wearing it here and there and i also sent some pieces to some of my friends and also um, the guests of the podcast and they've like posted it online and yeah so many of you guys were like can i buy it can i buy it so yeah it is available to buy now which i'm so excited about and we are actually shipping internationally so everyone can get a, a hoodie or a t-shirt that says what would the auntie say on it and i feel like i feel like i just want everyone to wear it and then the aunties be like what and you know what i actually call the hoodies like my hiding hoodie because it's like you know when you need to hide from the aunties if you're out where you shouldn't be or even you need to cover the smell of durka from your hair hoodies are the best thing i spoke about that ages ago on my stories that like that's the best way to, to not get the smell in your hair. But anyway, yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. If you haven't had the podcast yet, please go and listen to it. Last week, it actually made it to best podcast of the week playlist on Spotify, which is just incredible. I was never expecting that. And so it's so, so, so lovely to hear that you guys are really enjoying the podcast. And so we're celebrating by having some merch and i'm gonna leave all the information down below in the description box so make sure you check that out there is a website to buy everything from and yeah all the information is going to be there so please just go ahead check it out buy it buy it for somebody else as well they make super cute gifts anyway i'll stop rambling i'm just obviously mega excited and i think it's so cute and they're also really really comfy and they come in a range of sizes and they are also unisex Okay, that's enough now. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get on to some makeup bits that I wanna tell you about. I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet because I know I can ramble a little bit, so I won't do that too much. Right, first up, one of the things that I've made it into my favorites is this Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. The reason I love this so much is because it kind of reminds me of Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, and if you know me, I'm literally obsessed with that primer this is basically like that but it kind of hydrates your skin at the same time and it also really really does help your makeup stay on all day i personally really really loved the original all nighter face primer from urban decay but i think this one tops it just that little bit more for me and where it says ultra glow it's the complete opposite to the glow that i thought i would get i thought it was going to be tinted in some way you know with like a highlighter or something in there and you know you put it all over your face but it's not it's just clear and it gives your skin the actual glow like it actually makes your skin glow um, and then when you put your makeup on and your foundation and it settles in, it all just looks a bit more radiant rather than like highlightery. So yeah, completely obsessed with this. I'm gonna keep on the topic of face products for now. And I've got two foundations to mention, both of which I have full reviews on. One of them is the Huda Beauty, what is it? A faux filter skin finish stick foundation. In the video, I'm using Baklava, but Huda's actually changed her shade range. Basically, she's changed the, the shades and the names. So actually, in the video, I got away with Baklava, but now that I've used it way more, Trey Leche, or Trey, everybody laughs at me the way I say this. I see the comments. Okay, I know I'm saying it wrong. Trey, tre, Trez, Trez Leche. I don't, you know what I mean, okay? That's a better match, but I still can get away with 
baklava if I want something warmer. I think that will be more my summer shade than right now. Love this. I will leave a link so you can find out more about that in that video, but it is honestly like everything it says it is. And then the other foundation that I'm just blown away by is this NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, which is new. I also have a full review and like a wear test using this foundation. I'm currently wearing it right now. I use the shade Valencia and it is literally, what is that? Is that a spot? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's a perfect match. I really love it. I've actually only got one really light layer on my face today and it's worked like wonders. I feel like this is an actual filter in a bottle and it really is like a nice true matte but without being drying. So, I mean, there's so many reasons why I love this. So you definitely need to try this. Okay, and then another sort of face product that I love is the Chanel Powder Universal. And this comes in a few shades, and I use the shade 20. I know a lot of people use the shade 30 if you're around my skin tone, but I have that one, and I found that to be way too warm, especially like where you wanna set your under eyes and places like that. It didn't brighten, and I want brightening. I found that shade 20 actually worked so much better. Aside from the shade, this powder is like, it honestly looks flawless like it genuinely looks so flawless it mattifies but in a nice like radiant way and i know that's like two complete opposite things but that's exactly what it does it also looks super smooth again giving you that filter like effect on your face and almost like a blurred effect so i really love this and it helps your oils to stay at bay all day keeps your makeup on all day. It's just like, there are so many amazing things about this powder and there better be because it is so expensive. So yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that it like lives up to its price point. I mean, I wish it was cheaper, but it's Chanel, so. Okay, I'm gonna switch it up and we're gonna go onto a brow product and it's Drugstore. And this is basically all I use. And it's the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I basically use this every day. It's my go-to. It's basically a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And I have this in the shade Espresso. It literally is the most perfect, natural shade. It has a nice micro tip right here. It's also retractable, really great to travel with. You don't need to sharpen it. And I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so natural on me. And that's what I, yeah, I prefer. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to the ABH Brow Wiz, then definitely check this out. Okay, then let's jump back into some face products. I only recently got my hands on this, and it's the Tom Ford Glow Bronzer Powder. And this is what it looks like. And I thought it would be really light in the pan, but it actually is the perfect shade for me, and it goes on really well. I do wish they had more shades, though. That It only comes in two shades, which is... Like, why would you only have two shades? But yeah, I can get away with this. What I love about this bronzer powder is that there's these, almost like these little gold flecks in it. You can't see any sort of shimmer on your face, but when you put it on, it looks so smooth and it, it gives you, it's not just bronzer, it's like it gives you warm radiance. It makes your skin look healthier, not just by the warmth, but actually by the finish of the bronzer. So it's actually very beautiful. It kind of reminds me of matte mineralized skin finish, but like even better. Like, and it has to be, again, it's expensive. It's almost like I think there's Tesco and there's Tesco Finest. Tesco Finest right here, okay. <laughs> No. That's like Waitrose, okay, that's Waitrose. For all of my international followers, I'm comparing these things to supermarkets. That's what I'm doing, mm -hmm. Okay, and then another product that I really, really love is this Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I basically am obsessed with the Dior highlighters. Can we just, like, I'm just gonna show you, right? First of all, just, just look at that. Is that even gonna pick up? I'm like, I don't even wanna waste this on a swatch. Oh, honey, look at this. It's just beautiful. And I love the other shades in here as well. This one you can add in with your bronzer. You can mix these highlight shades together. You can use it on the eyes. Just the, the Dior highlighters have just 
always been a favorite for me. So good. I mean, the quality just speaks for itself and it goes on the skin smooth, so smooth. Lastly, I'm gonna mention an eyeshadow palette and Huda Beauty, it has to be Huda Beauty because who else is coming out with this many products and this many eyeshadow palettes other than Huda? But the one that has really got me, do you know what? I really wanted to pick up Naughty Nude because I love it. Um, I've done a video on it, so check that out, but this gold palette, which I think she's only done for Cult Beauty, it's like a limited edition Cult Beauty palette. Oh my God, first of all, the packaging on the front is like, it's literally like my phone wallpaper. And then the eyeshadows inside are stunning. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, so this look will be up on Instagram if you wanna know how I did it. Yeah, the eyeshadows are beautiful. The quality is insane. And I just love the shades in this palette. It's just, Stunning, it's absolutely stunning. So, oh my God, last thing I wanna mention, I have a lip product. I was like, wait, I have one more thing. Okay, Lancome lipsticks, don't sleep on them, especially if you like a matte lipstick. And I love a matte red, and I have found my new favorite matte red, and it's this Lancome 505 Drama Matte. Just look at this red, how gorgeous is this? I just have to show you, like it's, that is the ugliest watch ever, but look at this. It's so beautiful, I can't even deal. And also just, if you were in public and you did this, if I saw you on the train, I'd be like. So yeah, this is like bougie to another level. The packaging is amazing. The actual color of this red is amazing. Uh, the longevity of the lipsticks are amazing. I really, really love how they go on. Love the quality. And I can't believe I, I've been sleeping on Lancome lipsticks. I'm just like mind blown. I've tried to keep it really short and sweet. I didn't want to ramble too much, but those are the products that I've been loving recently. I would love to know if you've discovered anything new recently. I feel like I use a lot of the same things sometimes. So it's really, really good to know like what you guys are loving, what you're using, and you can help me discover new products. And yeah, and please don't forget to check out the podcast. And of course, my What Would The Auntie Say merch as well. Go get your hands on it. Go buy it for somebody as well. And yeah, I'd really, really appreciate it. And I also just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for all the support I've received so far. I'm just so happy that people get it. Like you just get it. You know what I'm talking about. You understand. I don't feel so alone in some of my thoughts anymore because I feel like I'm talking to people that have the same thoughts, which is why I even wanted to do the podcast in the first place. And now we can all just be rocking this merch together as well. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video, supporting and all of that. I completely forgot to say, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to comment down below. Like I said, let me know what your favorites are. And also make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I'd really love that. Join the family and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.